On Tuesday's Daily Math, the first question asks you which model shows the equivalent fractions two-fifths is equal to four-tenths. So we're looking for the first model to have two pieces shaded and five pieces in the hole. And we're going to show that if I have four pieces shaded with an equal size circle that has been split evenly into 10 pieces, that that has the exact same amount shaded. So looking at the first model, I'm looking for two fifth size pieces to be shaded. And I can see that option four has one, two pieces shaded in. There's three, four, five equal size pieces in the hole. So that one, it has two fifths shaded. I need to make sure that the second model in option four all has four tenth size pieces shaded. There's one, two, three, four pieces shaded, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces in the hole. So that represents four tenths. And I can look at the shaded amount and see that those are equal. I have equal size holes and an equal amount shaded. The second question asks you which model correctly represents the problem. So I've got to look and see which one of these is correct. If I look at option one, I've got seven ninths plus four ninths. My denominator is the same, so I can add my numerators. Seven plus four equals 11, not 10. So seven ninths plus four ninths equals 11 ninths, not 10 ninths. Option one's not correct. We move on to option two. We have seven ninths plus four ninths. Denominators are the same, so I can add the numerator or the top number. 7 plus 4 equals 11. My denominator is still 9. 11 ninths, so we know 11 ninths is correct. And then the mixed number 1 and 2 ninths is correct. I could split 11 ninths into one whole, which would be 9 ninths. And I would have 2 ninths left over, so 1 and 2 ninths is correct except that my model is not correct. It doesn't show one whole and two ninths. So I need to go on to option three. I have seven ninths plus four ninths again. Seven plus four equals 11. My denominator is nine. We proved in option two that one and two ninths is the correct mixed number to represent 11 ninths. And if I look at my model, I have one whole shaded and two ninths. So option three is correct. The next one you have two multiplication problems to solve. First, we'll do 47 times 59. You can use an area model to solve that. You need to know my top, my largest side's going to be 59. My shorter side's going to be 47. I'm going to split 59 into expanded form, 50 and 9. And then I'm going to split my short side, 47, into expanded form also, so 40 and 7. So to find the area of this large part, I'm going to multiply the length times the width, 40 times 50, 4 times 5 is 20, and I need to add two zeros to the end. The area of that section is 2,000. To find the area of this part, I'm going to multiply the length times the width. Now this side is 9. And if it's 40 over here, then this length has to be 40 as well. So I'm going to multiply 40 times 9. 4 times 9 is 36. 
and I have one zero to add, so 360. Now I need to find the area of this section down here. Now this is 7, and this side is 50, because if this is 50, then that has to be 50 as well. So we'll do 7 times 50. 7 times 5 is 35, and I add a 0 to the end. So the area of that section is 350. And for my last section, I'm going to multiply the length times the width of this part. This has to be 9 because the top part is 9. This has to be 7 because the opposite side is 7. So we'll do 7 times 9, and 7 times 9 is 63. So now all I have to do is add those together. I've got all my partial products, or the parts. 2,000 plus 360 plus 350 plus 63. Add my ones, I have three. Add the tens, that's going to make 17. Regroup the one. Add my hundreds, I'll have seven hundreds and two thousands. So my answer to 47 times 59 is 2,773. I'll change colors just to keep everything separated. Next we need to do 25 times 68. I'm going to set up an area model to solve that one as well. 68 is the larger number so it's going to go on my longer side. If I split 68 into expanded form, I would have 60 and 8. This side will be 25, so I'll break it into 20 and 5. Remember, by definition of a rectangle, I know that the opposite sides have to be equal. So this also has a length of 60. This also has a length of 8. This opposite side would be 20 and this section would be 5. So to find the area of this largest section in the top left corner, I would do 60 times 20. 6 times 2 is 12. I have two zeros to add to the end. To find the area of the section in the top right, I'm going to do length times width. Length is 8. Width is 20. 8 times 20. 8 times 2 is 16. Add a 0 at the end. 160 is the area of that part. Now to find the area of the section in the bottom right, I'm sorry, bottom left, I'm going to do length times width. So 60 times 5. 6 times 5 is 30. Add a 0. That will be 300. And for the last section, I'll do length times width, 8 times 5, and 8 times 5 is 40. Now all I have left to do is add these together. 1,200 plus 160 plus 300 plus 40. So my answer is 1,700. All right, the next question, we're going to use the distributive property to solve. The distributive property means that I can break this 17 apart into two numbers that add together to equal 17. So I'm just looking at this first line. 4 times 17 is equal to or the same as 4 times 10 plus 4 times 7. All I'm doing is taking this 17 and breaking it into parts that are easier to multiply. So A is going to be equal to 10. And B is going to be equal to 7. Okay. So now I'm going to go down to my second line. I'm just taking what's in parentheses. 4 times 10 
4 times 10 is equal to 40. I'm going to do my other set of parentheses. 4 times 7 equals 28. So C is going to be equal to 40. D is going to be equal to 28. I'm okay. And then we just need to add those together. 40 plus 28 equals 68. So E is equal to 68. All right. The last question says to select the diagram and answer that matches the problem. It takes five apples to make a pie. It takes seven times as many strawberries to make a pie. How many strawberries do you need to make a pie? So I know I have I'm going to have to have five apples and then seven times as many strawberries. So I need to select the model that shows five apples and then seven times as many as that. So if I look at option two, it shows five apples and then seven groups of five for strawberries and seven times five equals 35. Option two is your correct answer.